So we have a clear piece of um, five mil polyester uh, mylar. Uh, I'm going to mix up uh, some colors here from the basic ultra stable uh, color cyan, magenta, and yellow. And uh, I have a little orange that I've already, uh, I'm going to add a little bit to here. And let's begin. And what I'm trying to do here is just get enough color down on the film base so that when I come in to spread it, I'll have some opportunities. But I don't want to preclude what I could do by putting on too much. All right, now I'm going to start with this comb and just see how they mix. And some I'll try and leave as they are. And so I'll try and make a little more interesting without mudding the colors because that's what I keep adding colors, all it does is get darker. The only white I do have a little of that. I think I'm gonna pour just a little tiny bit of it. Try spreading it this way. So nice when they just they stay apart like that, you know. Let me see if I can just drop a little. Fill it around here a bit. And I want to get everybody in on the same. Oh, you can see it's starting to dry already. So i got to move quickly now. And a little bit of my magic to you know, it. What's happening now is the, the gelatin is setting up, and so there's not much I can do. Well, I'm interested in the different areas and two things. One part, one part is the color itself, but also how the colors match and, and they mix. I'm interested in keeping some white space, uh, some clear surface, so it has a contrast between coated and uncoated. But one never really knows until it's dried because the, the emulsions are still mixing. You could see that clearly with the white. But it's pretty close to what it's going to look like when it when it dries down. But I'm seeing, for example, an area that's bothering me. So I'm going to do something about it. Whereas it's just to me, this is just too much solid. So I'm going to find out what what's going to happen with this. Nothing is going to happen because the gelatin has been so set up 
see how it's not spreading and it's glomping but you know that's an interesting effect into itself you see how the white isn't spreading as, as it did up here that's because there's gelatin now All right, so at this point, the emulsion is pretty dry. So I can lift it up off the table, and just to see what it looks like, I'm going to flip it over, and voila, there's the back side of it, of what we just coated. And here's the front side again. And now, when it dries, I will have the option of using either side. This is, once again, this is a photographic emulsion that I can exploit either directly on the surface, like this, or I can flip it over and expose through the back and create an image on the back side. Although this particular one is designed or hoped to be presented like that. And it's got some very groovy places, nice spots. You never can tell what that white is going to do and sometimes it comes out just great. <laughs> 